Welcome everybody to another episode of Indie Inquiries here on Game Wisdom, where we some of the art and science of games. For this series, we take a look at Steam store pages and provide you with marketing advice for the best ways of selling your game. Join me, my co-host from Casual Game Studio, Joshua Reyes. How are you doing? I am doing great. I'm excited to get looking at some more Steam pages. Hopefully this mm -hmm. one is a good one, Josh. Yep. We have another one as we're uh, clawing our way through the backlog ever so slowly. And once again, if you are a developer with a game that is either out or upcoming, if you'd like us to review, please reach out. So this is, again, another backlog game. And this is Inhabit, a kind of casual, very cozy, wholesome style Sokoban game. And as always, we'll start with the capsule slash our thumbnail. So the thumbnail, so I think immediately it stands out. The colors are very bright. It kind of pops when you take a first look at it. I do, like we were having this kind of discussion before we started the recording, that the name or the font makes it a little hard to read. And uh, Josh <laughs> kept calling it Inhibit. And it's like the, the house being an A, like it's always I think it's always a mixed bag when you mix like symbols and letters and titles. So if everyone remembers thief for thief fourth four fifth, whatever how we pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I, it again. Like you were saying, it really pops. Like it pops out with the colors. It's colorful. Um, but oh, that font being so small, um, we were discussing like is the trade off like. It, it is showing me with it's a house, it's an A. Uh, I get it, it's cozy, but mm -hmm. is it worth showing it in the font? We could drop the font, move it up above, and maybe add a little background. You don't even need to really add a background with the way the characters are there and they pop, right? Probably mm -hmm. not. Um, but just, yeah, fixing that font, is it really, you know, is, is it really worth it putting a symbol in a font, especially when? Uh, you, you know, you're looking for really readability, right? I mean, yeah. what what else is the? You do want it to look cool, but you, you readability above all, right? I, I I would I would believe so. Yeah, and as you said, with the kind of um, the yellow background itself, it stands out, but it's not really giving any, I think, solid descriptor about yeah. this game, and they probably did it for rehability. They made like a house background or something like that. The characters kind of get lost in that right. background. Right. And so, and I mean, like, I think like your eyes immediately drawn to the uh, kind of like top character, the one like the red bandana on yes. her handkerchief or handkerchief, however it's said. And again, like it's one of those thumbnails where I think it stands out, but I don't know if it's really, like, selling you on this game. Like, I'm sure, like, if someone's, like, looking, at, like, on store page and, like, you yeah. know, Steam, like, it will catch their eye for, like, that split second, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to get someone to make that click to check out the rest of the store page. Exactly, and, and just, like, th the main, I think detractor would be that it's very difficult to read what it's called so unless yeah. i think you're you're drawn to the highly more drawn to these genres and you're like really looking into it you might opt to skip by it, uh, yeah. it, it, it you might read into that being like wait if i can't read their title card i'm not going to be able to read the, the game <laughs> probably not <laughs> it, it, you couldn't you know you could take that from there so yeah yeah, yeah. I think still, though, structure is good. The character yeah. portraits are very well done. I like how each character fundamentally or completely looks different. So we've seen some games where they'll have, you know, like, every character kind of, like, looking exactly the same. And maybe it's like, you know, this character's arm is up here. But this character's arm is like this. But they have, like, the exact <laughs> same, like, face and look to them. Yeah, yeah. So, like, this one does show some really good variety, and, like, showing off more of the characters is definitely going to be a complaint when we get further down into the store page. So, grade-wise, like, I don't think th this is by no means a bad uh, image or a bad thumbnail, but I don't think it does enough to make it, like, 
marketable or at least you know get someone's attention further so i'm kind of leaning towards like i think a c for it yeah i think i was going with a uh c plus originally but i, I think i'm gonna agree with you on a c uh just because of the font i really mm -hmm. believe that um again like you said the characters they're amazing like there's 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 so much life there so very colorful very vibrant um mm -hmm. simply move the colors a little the, the characters down a little bit the font above them maybe change it to a simple readable font i mean you have that you'd have that whole area at the top to mm -hmm. to put uh and have it and then you could go up but yeah so I'll, I'll go with the c with you on that one yeah all right so with that we're gonna get to the video we're gonna start with some uh, nice cozy guitar I think that cozy guitar a lot. Okay, some puzzle action. I do like this transition mm -hmm. where it goes for its time to clean up. And you can see they're kind of like zoomed in as well. You have to pet the dog. Pet the dog. Definitely. Hey, remember that we the well scene for later? The well. <laughs> or well. And, oh, and call to action at the end. I do like that ending card just uh, where, where, no, at the very end. Yeah. That, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, and like the character's kind of like rising up as. Yeah. You know, yeah, again, like, it's a game that knows its audience. It knows that this is, you know, very casual, very... Like, if this game wasn't featured in, like, you know, like, the Wholesome Games uh, showcase, I don't know what else could... where else it could fit. <laughs> exactly. Very yeah. cozy. Yeah, and again, it's one of those trailers where... It doesn't do anything bad, but I just don't know if it does anything that you know, stands out. Like, this is, there's no real kind of, like, wow moment. There's nothing that, you know, makes you kind of go, oh, you know, look how fantastic, you know, this section is. Right. It's so, if I was, uh, if, the only reason, if I would watch this trailer, well, after watching this trailer, I don't see a reason, there's nothing that, there's no call to action to tell me to want to play it. The only reason that I would want to play it is that if I've heard through the grapevine, like through a streamer or something like that, but from purely from the trailer, there's really nothing there. And it's not a knock on the trailer itself. Uh, I do have some critiques for the trailer on how it could be adjusted, but yeah, it's like nothing's really calling to me from mm -hmm. the trailer. But I mean, Again, there are some limitations to the genre, right? And I think with that, what they could have done is they, the trailer being a minute, they could have shortened it down, you know, make it 30, 30 seconds or so, show the key moments, the petting the dog, what was it, petting the dog, the puzzle, um, some watering, and then, like, I think something else, oh, bathing and, and, the, and the cleaning up, and then you'd be done. And then you, you, you'd be over with. But yet it, it kind of drags on so long that it makes it evident that there's not really a call to action, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think lowering down, as you said, to maybe like 30 seconds minimum, maybe 40, 45 seconds tops. Tops, yeah. Would have definitely. helped out. Like, mm -hmm. the structure, I think, is good. Again, it shows yeah. a variety of environments. Shows again the characters, the transitions are great, but as we've said, it's very hard to make like a puzzle game pop, and it's yeah. a challenge that has been facing indie developers, I think, since like the 2010s when more people were taking notice of indie games. Like, how do you make something about moving boxes, you know, as exciting as playing Call of Duty or God of War? Because you can push boxes in some Call of Duties, so. Mm -hmm. 
So, again, there isn't a lot to say that is bad about this, but conversely, there's not a lot to say that would, yeah. you know, push someone, I think, to play this more. Like, it's a trailer. I think what I can say is that it's a trailer that is designed for a specific audience, and that's it. Like, this is for yeah. someone who is already looking for a Sokoban style game, and that's it. Like, if you're yeah. not into, like, and again, I think that's kind of going to be, like, the MO of the store page, that if you're already a fan of Sokoban games, everything that you've seen here is going to kind of confirm that. But if you're someone who's looking for a new puzzle game, and say you click on the store, is what's here going to sell someone who's not already kind of in it? Like you said, like, this would be, like, for someone who, you know, saw this game on YouTube or saw a stream or a review of it, and the store page at that point is just kind of secondary. Right. So Yeah. No, yeah. No, oh, go ahead. Go. No, no, no. No, I was just going to say what my uh, trailer grade is, so uh, finish your yeah. thought. <laughs> no, let's go with the trailer grade. Okay. So, there we go. So, I think for me, like, trailer-wise... Again, I don't. It definitely doesn't get into like the D range or anything like that. But I feel like it just goes right to a C, and yeah, that's where I think it it's going to stay for me. Yeah, I know. I agree with you there. I mean, uh, everything we've said about it is legitimate. Um, you know, it 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 is a limitation of the genre. Mm -hmm. how to show it off but it could it could definitely have been tightened up a little bit and it would have been broadened up so but like you said all the structures there uh otherwise it's you know it's good it just doesn't do uh anything that we haven't seen before so unfortunately yeah it's gonna have to stay in the c range mm -hmm. and with that let's get to the images here yes so we have a total of eight and looking at them, I don't see anything that is copied from the trailer, which is good. Right. I think that's uh, probably one of the first Steam reviews we've we've done so far, where they haven't taken mm -hmm. uh, screenshots from the trailer. So that's a that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And again, it's showing the different categories in the bottom. One thing that yeah. the store page does really well, it's showing a variety of scenes. We, I know we complained about this last time when the store page just was like showing like the same two environments and like all of its screenshots. Here we have the house, we have, you know, outside during daytime, we have nighttime, looks like a grassy hill, park. So it's showing really good things off. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a really nice variety. It's um, there's some things that uh, show show it off better than the trailer because I'm able to stop and look at it. And again, I, I like uh, the amount of variety that it shows me and it's confirmed certain things that I was wondering about from the trailer. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't unsure about how one of the puzzle, the door puzzle or the window light puzzle worked and I saw it a still and then I was able to understand that. So that's definitely a plus. Uh, I like the variety a lot. I think they did a good job here. Mm-hmm. So grade-wise, I think this is just a very easy A. They yeah. have more than five screenshots. They're all very different. Again, we can't complain or we can't talk about, you know, the style or what's being shown because that is just the limitation of the market and the genre they're working with. So I think for me, I'm just going to give it an A. Yep, 100, yeah, A for sure. All right. So with that, let's get down to the About This Game section. Okay. So we saw with some paragraphs, which are nicely formatted. It looks like there may be like a little extra space between the second paragraph and find balance yes. in your life. Yes, oh, good like find. That. So we have a lot. So this page is using a lot of GIFs. Yes. And again, you can see the characters hanging with your pets. Good. Picks up your home. Relax in your backyard. There's that fountain again. Right, so is that fountain, I say, remember the fountain, is that the same from the trailer? Or the well? Hmm. Okay. The same shot? I doubt it, right? It could be for like a split second, the 50 second mark. 
Right. Like before the so peaceful cuts in. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's slightly different. There's a uh, lamppost in the GIF that there isn't one in the. Ah, uh, yes, you are right. You're right about that one. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and there, pet the dog again, enjoy this calm, wholesome experience. So, ah, uh, yeah. Even pet the dog is a different pet the dog version, too. So, yeah. so that's I mean, good. all in all, I think this is a very solid about this game page. The only nitpicks I have, one would be I would like the different section. Uh, kind of quotes right here to be maybe a blue or stand out a little bit more as they kind of, again, get blended into the rest of the text. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I, I think that's that's about the only complaint I have. Um, we did bring up one other facet, though, is that mm -hmm. like in the thumbnail, they have all the characters there. The wonderful. They have a wonderful cast of characters. Uh, mm -hmm. Put that in your about your game. Show it. Um, I you know, do a persona style. Show mm -hmm. me all of your characters there, and um, you know you could even even uh, even in a still would work in this one. You know, uh, just either way, show me show me the characters. It's an easy one. Uh, other than that, you know, just maybe a little better formatting, but uh, really w excellent job on this part, also. Yeah, but I would put like the character portraits either at the very top, very top, yeah, or at the very bottom as kind bottom. of like a closer for it. Opener or finisher, yeah. Yeah. But again, like, you have these really expressive characters, they stand out very well. Definitely make use of them. And that can also be really good use for marketing. You can show those on Twitter, on social media. You can kind of, again, give your game a little bit more pop in yeah. terms of what you're showing off. Also, when you have, like, really great characters, I'm looking at this gif right here, and they, the, the characters look great, like you were saying, really expressive. I could see stickers, Patreon done mm -hmm. for these for their characters. Uh, you can definitely do some stuff like that uh, with, with your genre, you know? Uh, with that, because mm -hmm. of the limitations of the genre, I mean, then there's some, you know, do some extracurricular stuff there. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I think grade-wise, again, it does, I think, above what we would normally say is a C. I feel it definitely gets in the B range. Do you think it deserves yeah. higher, or do you think a B is kind of like where it's at? Yeah, I don't think I have a reason to give it a B minus, so I'm going to have to go with a B there. All right. Sounds good. And again, structure is there. Just a few more improvements could easily bump this up to a B plus or maybe even an A. Yeah, for sure. So with that, let us get to the title card. Okay. So we can I'll zoom in just a little bit here. So here's our title card. And... Right off the bat, I think it is okay. We have three genre tags, which again, three is the minimum. But in a very strange circumstance, I think it's missing some very easy gimmies. And that is single player and puzzle. Like, I'm really surprised there's not a puzzle tag. Yeah, you said you said something really important there. You said three is the minimum, and that's just kind of what's the whole feel about this area is, is that it just beats the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, like single player for sure would open it up to a whole other audience, right? They're literally killing and that puzzle. I mean, and puzzle, uh, unbelievable. Uh, so only people only people looking for maybe a casual indie rpg like an rpg is maybe stretching that term a little exactly far. exactly so if anything then the rpg tag is wrong and then it's so only it's casual indie that are correct so yeah. and for developers listening to this right now remember the genre tags are not for the consumer they are for Steam's algorithm when it's recommending yes. games yes. and for people to see. So if you don't get the genre tags right, it it's not like the doom and gloom of your game. Everything else is working, but you are severely handicapping Big your time. reach if you don't have these genre tags right. Big time, yeah. And it, it, it's so it, it's such an easy fix. Mm -hmm. um, and 
but like you said it you know it's such an easy fix something you need to do and please pay attention to it um uh mm-hmm. you know look think about your game and think about what genres it might fit in because having that extra genre tag it is for the algorithm like you said yeah. so it you know if there is a player who's playing those type of games or a couple of the mix up of your tags they'll get that and um yeah. that's how it gets in front of people's faces so it's super important um while you know we don't want to gloss over how important that that is like it, it like you like josh said it's not doom and gloom mm-hmm. but again it's 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 a big hamper to the visibility of your game so yeah, yeah. And I'm showing everyone the more like this section at the bottom of the store page okay. because this is how your game will show up on other store pages if you get those genre tags right. So this is showing a lot of puzzle games, a lot of looks like casual, wholesome style games. Mm-hmm. And again, if you want your game to be shown, you need to make sure those genre tags are working. If not, it comes back to bite you. Exactly. So back up to the title card. So we visited the website. It is okay. It's more of just kind of like a kind of just there as a landing page and nothing else. There is no social media, no Twitter, no Discord. And again, I think as Josh said, it's kind of just like making the bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, just, you know, and um even regardless if you're not doing i don't know maybe you don't think you you know you have some form of social media i i know you might not like twitter or you might not like reddit but just having another presence and other proxy for people to access mm-hmm. uh your um and for your game your your product just it, it's really it, it's more important than you can imagine so yeah. and again yeah yeah like we're here and and, and it, to me it's like I get the feeling when I'm looking at it that when they just put in the three minimum genres that they really didn't think about this section and how valuable it is. So that's what I'm getting, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Yep. And again, it is a very valuable section. Not so yes. much, again, for the consumer side, but again, for the Steam side. And yes. why it's very important when you're building your store page and how you're marketing your game to make sure that Steam can properly market and advertise it. Because right. again, one of the reasons why games that do well continue to do well is that once it it's, has enough reviews, once it has enough sales, Steam will look at those genre attacks and go, oh, someone likes a puzzle game, someone likes a first-person shooter, someone's looking at some random first-person shooter somewhere else, I'm going to mention this game. And if you don't do this right if you don't start off on the right foot it becomes a that much harder for a game to kind of get back into the pace or get back into the race yeah well said josh so grade wise for this again it, i feel it's just average like it doesn't go anywhere above and beyond so i don't know i think i'm leaning maybe C C plus. You know, I was I was thinking C plus earlier, but as we're talking about it, and I'm I'm thinking a little bit more about it as how you go through you know the steam process of of uh, doing this mm-hmm. section. Uh, to me, it seems like they just did the bare minimum, and I'm wondering why they did the bare minimum here. And it seemed like they went, they at least tried to their utmost best ability for the other parts. Mm-hmm. Um, and in this one, they just didn't. So, like, I'm just gonna have to get a C, uh, C minus, yeah. just because uh, it, it is really important in, in mm-hmm. for the for the algorithm for your game to get visibility. So, yeah, C minus for me, but all right, I think I'll stay at C then, and we'll kind of uh, put the two together. So, <laughs> I think with that, let's get to the final grade. So, all right. we're starting at a C for the trailer, and. I think as we've been talking about this over the course of this recording, nothing has really, I think, done enough to, I think, move it up. I don't think it deserves anything less. I don't think anything moves it down. But I think all in all, I think this is just like a average C page. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. 
um, it again, I mean, I, I'm just going to say it in a different way. You know, there, it, it does nothing uh, that uh, sends me away, right? I'm not like looking at the page. I'm like, oh, no, I got to get out. Yeah. I don't get any of that. I, I actually kind of want to see it. But it doesn't push me over to the, yeah, I want to put this into my wish list or and or purchase it uh, mm-hmm. category, right? And again, it's it does work. And but that would be for someone who is either educated about this game uh, or like vehemently, vehemently looking for these type of games, right? Like they're just searching for them. And uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really uh, go past that, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I think part of that is the nature of the genre. But again, another aspect of this is trying to reach people outside of your most hardened fans. And right. that is a nightmare, as a, as the Arezin YouTuber here can <laughs> certainly uh, demonstrate. <laughs> and, like, as you said, like, there's nothing on this page that is bad. Like, there's nothing here that I would say, you know, takes the page down or it ruins the game. But there's nothing here that's going to appeal outside of this very specific circle. And again, like, there's a greater discussion to be had about marketing these games beyond your base circle. How do right. you get a Sogobon game to stand out? How do you make a Match 3 game or a uh, Where's Waldo style game go beyond just that initial audience? And is there a way to reach beyond that? Right, exactly. And what's interesting is, like, um, a lot of uh mobile games that um a lot of like the gamers you know like maybe the older generation like i could see them like like on my grandma like playing this game if somehow it could be sold to my grandma and it's some interesting story and all she has to do is push you know blocks around i think she might dig it because she already plays a a block pushing game right it's so it's like Mm -hmm. how can how can you unlock that key of selling it to the audience there um yeah and I would say, if the developer is watching, I know, like, the uh, Wholesome Direct or Wholesome Games has, like, their own showcase from time mm-hmm. to time. If you haven't gotten to one of those, I would highly recommend you do so, because that is a great way to amplify games like this that wouldn't normally get people to their store page. But if you see this on a list of, here's all these amazing Wholesome Games and all these great puzzles... That can be a great way, because again, I think the challenge of this isn't so much that you're trying to, you know, oversell the gameplay or misrepresent it. It's just getting someone to look at this game for more than five seconds. And like a wholesome direct or a festival like that, I think is a great way to do so. Well said. So I think that's all for me. Any final points from you? Let me see here. Let me see. Uh, I mean, I think overall, like, an excellent page. I really loved uh, the character design and the usage of everything. Um, you know, just I, I'll just offer some pointers here, you know. at uh, I think we said in the About Us page, if we did, uh, like, the character por- portrait at the opening and the, on the bottom, uh, that would work well. Changing up the font on the thumbnail and then maybe tightening up the trailer and um you know figuring out some way uh like josh said um to you know get outside of uh who you're marketing to currently right now right uh because right now you're just we're simply marketing to uh you know basically like two audiences or, or maybe three someone who might stumble upon this um but yeah you know everything's here it looks great i think it's an excellent job just a little bit more and mm-hmm. and hopefully you can uh, solve the puzzle and uh, marketing these, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that's it for me, Josh. All right. So I think with that, we can wrap up the store page review. So again, if you would like us to look at your game for a future video, please reach out. We are always looking for more games to add to the backlog as we cover them. And if you have any questions about our reviews or anything like that, make sure to leave a comment down below. Exactly. So, other than that, do all the YouTubing stuff, like, subscribe, check things out, be sure to visit the Discord and Patreon. 
Exactly. Um, also, my links are down below. Do that. Be sure to join the Discord. Please let us know uh, how you like these reviews. If you have a game that you'd like to be reviewed, please let us know. We are always looking forward to them. And uh, that's about it, Josh. And I will be seeing you next time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with that said, everyone, we're going to wrap up this episode. As always, come back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where you're on the art and science of games. Until our next show, have a great rest of your night.